Hey everyone, RG here and welcome back to a brand new Sims 4 speed build on the channel and today we are building a steamboat and not just an ordinary steamboat, today we are building the most awesome, coolest uh, steamboat that you can ever dream on and you know why? Because it is a nightclub slash bar and it's on a freaking steamboat so yeah, today we are gonna do that and actually I gotta tell you that the inspiration for this build I do remember that for a long time I really wanted to try and create something like this but it wasn't really easy to do it like back in the day when the game just launched because we couldn't really rotate items on the different axles so now we can with the tool mod we can do that so I said why not to give it a try and that because I played like last week I played the remake version of the game Mafia if you know if you know that game and on that game, on that, in that game, you have a mission which you go on a ferry pedal steamboat like this one, and you need to assassinate someone over there. And and, and I really love that the, the design of that steamboat. So I said, why not to try and bring a version for it into the Sims 4 game? Now, if you didn't know, in the Sims 4 game, even in the base game, you can find two versions of that steamboat. Not this one, but of a steamboat. The first one is a toy that you can find in the toy section and the second one is actually a moving steamboat in a good texture uh, that is actually circling Willow Greek. And if you are, you see, you see the lot that I'm actually building uh, the steamboat on. This map is Willow Greek and it's near the river. Now, really, the river behind this lot that you can see briefly between uh, uh, camera movements, on that river, you can find a steamboat that actually circling the Willow Greek area between the time of 7 p.m., I believe, to 8 p.m., uh, uh, you, you can find a steamboat doing circles over there, which is the steamboat that you saw in the intro of this uh, of this video. So yeah, th that is something really cool. I didn't, I don't know if you know that, but if you didn't, now you do. So uh, let's talk about this build actually. Now I decided to go with a one version of two main or popular versions of the steamboats. And one of the version is basically the one that you are seeing uh, being created right now, which is one big pedal at the back of it. And the second one is a version of steamboats that um, like there, there is the boat in the middle and two pedals, one on each side. And basically each one can move in, uh, in a certain way. And uh, in that way, she can actually turn on the spot. But I decided to go with the big pedal at the back. And to be honest, you watched me uh, creating the pedal and it was super challenging to do it. Because first of all, I had to, uh, to determine the, um, the right angles for those shelves. Then I had to rotate them. And then I tried to create some sort of a circle um, with guiding lines and I actually used the tip of the um, of the shelves to uh, as an indicator to to try and connect them together in the perfect way and then I tried to bring inside uh, those uh, circles the uh, pirate ship wheel now the problem actually that I had at the end of creating one pedal like one circle um, was that after I created that, I, went, I wanted to duplicate it. Now the tool mode actually give you the option to do so, but when you try to do that, you are actually need to, I actually had to eyeball it one near each other because uh, th that was a problem in the tool mode, I think. When I mark the whole circle and then duplicate it and try to elevate it a bit or move it a bit, it kind of messed the whole thing up. All the items were kind of blending or crushing into each other and it, it was messy. Basically, the circle uh, um, stopped being a circle. It wasn't a wheel anymore. It, it was something really messy. So I don't know what really causing that, but uh, yeah, so I actually had to mark the whole wheel and then just eyeball it, duplicate it exactly to the, uh, exactly next to the existing pedal. So it will some sort of create one big giant pedal. I hope you understand what I just described, but yeah, it, it was super challenging to create that big giant pedal at the back. Now, yeah, I could uh, create the pedal in a much simpler way, but without using those shafts um, and just maybe taking all the, only the, um, the a pirate ship wheel and stacking them one near each other so tight so they were like creating some big giant pedal 
but I don't know, I think it would have looked like much glitchier and much worse. So I, I think going with the tool mode and creating the pedal from scratch was the right decision. Let me know, what do you think about the pedal? I think this is actually the highlight of this build. Now, uh, this is not really true because you, you're gonna see the uh, the party area in a bit inside, but uh, yeah. So I, I used a lot of the uh, eco lifestyle pack in this build because of those pipes that you can see on the upper area and the pipes that you're gonna see, I'm gonna create like exhaust in the front uh, soon and I'm gonna create, I kind of connected the pedal with those pipes. I created some sort of uh, connection between the back pedal and the pipes using the tool mode. I rotate those pipes and connected them to the uh, rear area rare area? Rary? <laughs> to the back area of this steamboat. So it was super challenging, it was super awesome, and I had a great time creating this build, and uh, and I gotta tell you, I had a lot of fun. I really hope that you're gonna enjoy playing this build, and maybe it gave you some inspiration to create your own steamboat. Really, it can be super awesome, and I think maybe to create a much bigger version of it, uh, um, maybe in the future, uh, and let me know if you want me to create a bigger version of it. Now this lot, I don't remember what uh, what are the size of it. I think it's 40 by 30, but uh, don't catch me on this one. Now, um, the new pack, the uh, Star Wars pack, actually was super handy in this build. Especially because if, if you watch the build by that I created for the debug items, you could uh, see over there that in the new pack we actually receive uh, received new items uh, in the debug menu and some of them are super awesome. We received cables, we received some sort of uh, ropes that you can hang from side to side and create your own, uh, um, I don't know, even, even electricity poles and stuff you can create with this. So I actually used those uh, cables in this build and it gives uh, this build much more realistic vibe, which is awesome. I'm trying all, all the time, I'm trying to create something a bit more realistic in, in some ways. And that small details of cables hanging from side to side actually done it. Now one thing that was actually disappointing for me in this build is the front of the boat. I really wanted it to be like the first level, I wanted it to be rounded and I could have made it run, rounded, but, but there is a big problem in the game that pools cannot be rounded. Now that is kind of affecting the um, the ability for me to build the front of this boat around it. And why? Because if the foundation cannot be rounded, so the first level cannot be rounded. Now, it can be rounded, but the foundation will not be rounded. I, think, I, I feel that I said rounded too much, but that was something that really bothered me. And I really hope that one day they will fix that and will let us to create rounded pools without uh, illusion tricks. Like uh, for example, my friend Kate does. She created amazing uh, rounded pools and stuff like it, but she needs to actually go around that problem using a, for an example, a hideout. She creates pools like in the normal way and then she covered the upper area of the pool with rounded foundations. I really hope that one day we will not need to do that because if I was doing it in this build, actually this steamboat was uh, floating on top of the water and not being inside the water. So I really hope that they will one day fix that problem and we will have rounded walls as a pools or rounded pools and we won't need to go around uh, that problem too much. So uh, yeah, I really hope it doesn't bother you that much that the front of the boat is not rounded, uh, but uh, yeah. Moving on, now we are gonna get inside in a bit and I gotta tell you that the uh, inside of it is actually not like the outside, okay? The uh, design of the outside is almost like the legit steamboat from 1930s or 20s and the inside of it was actually a converted uh, steamboat. So the idea behind this build is that this is a real steamboat from the 1930s that has been converted into a modern uh, nightclub with a bar in it. So you're gonna find more modern vibe inside of it and I really hope you're gonna enjoy it. And one small thing that I gotta tell you that is that, well in my opinion, I feel that 
The vibe and feeling of nightclubs in the game is a bit missing. There are so many stuff that are missing from the game regarding nightclubs. For an example, I was trying to find some lights or maybe, um, I don't know, flashing lights and, and color colored flashing lights or something like this to try and spice the nightclub, nightclub, the nightclub vibe in this build and it's so hard there are so small amount of items regarding nightclubs that i really wish that they will bring more i don't know flashing lights and and, and neon lights and and drop lights and and i don't know i feel that nightclubs are kind of left out in the game they are really small amount of lights that are resembling nightclubs so it's kind of really hard to, to create a nightclub in the game. And one of the biggest problems that I, I found in this build is that nightclubs, basically most of them are having like uh, ceilings that are colored or maybe has tons of lights dangling from them. Uh, and you can't really do that in the game. You cannot paint ceiling now. Yes, I created a tutorial like two years ago or one year ago uh, of how to add color uh, to ceiling without mods and CCs, but that is not a solution for a big size of ceiling like we have in this build. So I really hope that one day we'll receive the option to, uh, to, to color ceilings or that we'll have it in Sims 5 when it will come out. Now that's the stuff that I wanted to talk with you about today in this video. Do not go anywhere because right now I'm gonna bring you some awesome music to uh, listen to. And I'm gonna ask you nicely just to hit the like button if you enjoy your time here. Consider subscribing to the channel if you are new here. And I'll see you again at the next video. RGR Gaming, signing off. I wanna off. do it all with you by my side. If you're in, meet me here tonight. Be brave and come along. I'll be your right. Promise we don't need no break lights. We can travel the world, so just say yes. Choose to do whatever comes next Drinking red wine by an open fire Make love a fight This or that
to start This long overdue conversation I would fall in